lot of updates has been done through our system uh, for the last half year or so. It is now capable to charging a Tesla and actually we have currently a lot of extra solar panels ground deployed. So two Teslas can kind of be kept charged uh, based on this system in here. The motorhome has been upgraded so uh, it has now uh, four uh, 440 watt panels that are uh, in a series of two and then uh, handed by, or handled by two Morningstar 60 amp controllers. So for around three and a half thousand watt uh, on the motorhome, um, they'll just be charging uh, the motorhome itself. The trailer used to have one row of solar panels, or six of them on the top now. Uh, it actually now has uh, wings on both sides that can be pulled out and slipped back in under for travel. Um, there's uh, around seven and a half thousand watt of solar panels. Um, the whole framing is uh, custom built uh, of aluminum. Uh, and uh, since we made it ourselves anyway, we could also weld on uh, a bracket for Starlink uh, to be mounted up there. To handle all the short days is uh, a lot of extra solar panels ground deployed. Uh, 24 of them are being used uh, for adding additional power in the trailer. Uh, they're wired in a series of eight, so uh, quite a high uh, output. These one are old uh, used solar panels. Uh, they used to be a 280 watt panel uh, 12 years ago when they were sold, uh, but they're very cheap when you buy used panels and if you have the space uh, you can just put them out on the ground. We're currently testing uh, between different angles, flat mounted 17 degrees and 54, that is uh, optimal for Phoenix in the winter time. We're running a small test here, uh, this one is actually measuring the energy from each string in here. Um, you have to multiply with the eight panels in each string, uh, but um, it's clear that the one that is mounted on an angle produces quite a lot more than uh, the one that are flat mounted. And 17 degrees don't really make a lot of difference uh, compared to just flat on the ground. All the power from uh, the trailer and the ground deploy solar panels uh, go in through this setup. We have. Uh, some wires down here where the incoming power from the ground deploy is coming in and it goes through a set of uh, breakers um, that allow us to switch on and off uh, the different parts of the solar panels. We also have uh, a lot of uh, additional breakers for handling the 240 that is output from the inverters uh, and uh, also 120 that is what generate the split phase. It is a Tesla wall charger uh, and it is used for um, charging uh, the Teslas out there. It allows up to 40 amp and currently uh, it is actually running in here. And you see that uh, we're getting over 9 kilowatts uh, out to the Tesla out there. So we're basically charging at 40 amps uh, to the Tesla car out there. There is not a load right now on the 120 volt side so uh, it is basically our batteries are, are at the 90% state of charge uh, and that is handled by these two grow watt inverters. Um, one is uh, currently pushing uh, 3300 watts um, and the other one is uh, char uh, charging with uh, 4500 watt over here. This uh, grow watt split phase transformer is generating the midpoint and that is uh, then uh, being used for our 120 volt system. The battery rack contain uh, 20 kilowatt hours of storage. Uh, so if we came home with a chest Tesla uh, and needed some charge, uh, we can actually charge around 15% or so uh, if our battery bank is uh, full in the trailer. Um, and we will be able to then uh, leave again in the next morning if needed. In here. The Tesla wall charger is how um, the Teslas are getting charged from in here. It's a 240 volt charger uh, and it uh, allows uh, with the current configuration up to uh, 40 amps charging of the cars out there. So this one is uh, a full day of charging or actually it wasn't charging all the time. Uh, the orange curve here is um, the solar. Uh, the green is how much is being put into the battery and the gray is basically what is being used as what is in the trailer. The state of charge uh, goes up here so it's much higher end of the day than it was in the beginning of the day. 
um, and the state of charges on this curve over here. So this day we actually generated more than 35 kilowatt hours um, and the Tesla ended up being charged at the end of the day so we didn't really have any more to uh, energy to put in there but we did went for a drive also during the day.